Saturday the 26th of August, just noticed I've got blight just started on the tomatoes outside. Lucky I didn't put too many out. You see off these tomatoes. That's what it does. And I, I think I've got it just start coming on my potatoes. So I'll just show you. May not be uh, when you look at this, could be a bit of blight. I'd go in over anyway, so I'm gonna just cut all the tops off everything of my potatoes and I'll try and dry them out a little bit and burn them then so I'll crack on and do this and then I'll get back all to right. you cleared the top off these, just got to do the next patch I think the ratties might have a bit of blight in them because when I was pulling the tops off there was a few looking a bit suspect and uh I'll show the others. Right, these are me second earlies here. As you see, they died off. Hopefully, it's not blight. I think they've just go, gone over. So, I'm just going to pull all the tops off these just to be safe. So, I'll pull all the tops off these and I'll get back to you then. Right, I'll just show you how we're getting the tops off. I've been doing. This variety is Rudolph, but some places just look a bit dodgy, like there. Look. I don't know if you can see. Looks like they might be having a bit of blight come. So just to be safe, just hold my hand on top of their soil, stop the potatoes coming up, and then try and pull the stalks one by one. No press down. Right, they look some nice potatoes. The skins haven't set yet, so I've been trying to bury them again. We've had the bowl, not a mole, a bowl. Been getting chewing some of the potatoes. So hopefully now the top's off, he won't come. I think I'm going to be impressed with the amount of potatoes as long as the blight hasn't got them. It looks a good good lot underneath them. Right, I'll crack on with this. Right, there we go. All the tops are over here. Hopefully they'll just dry off in a, a week. And then I'll get them burnt. Right, so finished result. Uh, I'll put all the names of the potatoes on me when I start getting them up so you can see what varieties they are. Some of them haven't got labels on, but I know what's, what's what. Right, and those are like the second earlies. Tops have died off on those and they didn't have blight. So, there we go.